Today we will learn construction of angles of specific measure using a compass. You already know that compass is used to draw circles and arcs. Can we also draw an angle using it? Think, think. Let us tell you. Suppose we drew a circle of any radius with the help of compass and named its center O. Now we will draw diameter PQ on the circle. By keeping the distance taken in the compass, we will place the pointed end of the compass on P and mark an arc cutting the circle. We will name the point of intersection as K. Then we will connect K to the center O. By placing the pointed end of the compass at the point K, again we will mark another arc by cutting the circle and give the name of the intersecting point C. And then we will connect C to the center O. If again we place the pointed end of the compass on C and draw an arc, then this arc will cut the circle at the point Q only. What does this tell you? Think, think. Let us explain. Here all three arcs are equal, so the angles forming them are also equal. Diameter represents a measurement of straight angle that is 180 degrees. But it is also the sum of these three equal angles. So here the measurement of each angle will be 180 degrees divided by 3 is equal to 60 degrees. So will you be able to think of any method of drawing angle of 60 degrees measurement of using compass? Think, think. Let us tell you. Step 1. We will draw a ray OP. Step 2. Now we will take the compass and place its pointed end on O. By taking a convenient radius in the compass, we will draw an arc that cuts the beam OP at point A. Step 3. By keeping the distance taken in the compass, we will place its pointed end at A and draw another arc cutting the received arc. We will name the received intersection point K. Step 4. Now we will draw a ray going from K to OK. The obtained angle POK measures 60 degrees. We can verify this using the protractor. Can you draw an angle of 30 degrees with this method? Think, think. Let us tell you how to draw it. We can bisect an angle of 60 degrees and make an angle of 30 degrees. Let's see its method. With the above method, we will make an angle of 60 degrees. Angle P OK. We will draw arcs cutting each other from A and K by keeping the same distance taken in the compass. We will name the point of intersection of arcs D. If we draw ray OD, it divides angle P OK into two equal parts. Thus, we have obtained two angles, angle KOD and angle DOA by bisecting angle POK. That means each angle is 60 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 30 degrees. Now we will see how to construct angles of 120 degrees and 90 degrees. Step 1. We will draw a ray OP. Step 2. Now we will take the compass and place its pointed end on O. By taking a convenient radius in the compass, we will draw an arc that cuts the beam OP at point A. Step 3. By keeping the distance taken in the compass, we will place its pointed end at A and draw another arc cutting the received arc. We will name the received intersection point as K. Repeating the same, we will place the pointed end of the compass on K and draw another arc cutting the earlier arc. We will name the received point of intersection as C. Step 4. Now if we draw a ray OC starting from O, then we will get the angle POC which will measure 120 degrees. We can verify this using the protractor. Step 5. To make an angle of 90 degrees, we will draw arcs cutting each other from C and K. The intersection point obtained will be named G. Step 6. 
Now, if we draw a ray OG starting from O and going through G, then the measurement of obtained angle POG will be 90 degrees. We can verify this using the protractor. Now, try to make an angle of 150 degrees using this method yourself. Today, we learned how to construct angles of specific measure using a compass. In the next video, we will see examples related to making angles of given measurement.